What's up? I'm Dakota Bradley, and I'm sitting here with countrymusicrocks.net. So we're here at CRS 2014, and we're sitting down with Dakota Bradley. How are you, and how's your CRS week going so far? This is my second CRS, and it's awesome. That's all I got to say. <laughs> For fans that are still getting to know you, give us a little bit of Dakota Bradley 101. Dakota Bradley 101. Um, I love music. I can't sleep without thinking about music. Uh, I'm produced by Byron Gallimore and Tim McGraw. Um, I've got a single out right now called Wild Child that I'm really excited about. I'm getting back on the road Monday for Wild Child. And yeah, I got a big summer ahead of me, big year ahead of me. Just kind of taking it one day at a time. That's great. And tell us about your little, about your single Wild Child. Give us a little background on that. Wild Child is a uh, it is I guess you can say it's inspired off true events. The story itself is not exactly how it happened, but no song really is, I don't think. But uh it's um it's 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 just a song about being at a party and the cops come and bust the party and everybody runs as you're supposed to. It's kind of the rule. You just rerun. And uh, I was at a party and I met a girl and she just, like I was running through this field and this girl grabbed my hand and still, you know, it's just kind of, that's kind of how that song came about. Okay. Running from the police and falling in love in the process. Perfect. <laughs> um, now I know you're working on the de your debut album. Tell us a little bit about that and where are you at in that process? I don't really know where I'm at in the process because last January I basically finished the album with Tim and Byron in the studio. We cut over full, a full album. We cut 15 songs and uh, then I went on tour with my first single, Something Like Something, mm -hmm. and that uh, did very well. It did top 50 on Billboard and um, then I came back. I got off tour in October and just started writing every day with everybody I could, everybody I could write with. and. Uh, I kind of did that before I went on tour in January, but this time around I just wrote so many new songs and everything just pretty much topped what was already on my album. So uh, we had to go back and cut Wild Child and some new music, but the thing is, like, I'm still writing and still trying to figure out what I want my album to be. Because, you know, a lot of artists, like, nowadays just kind of, they put out a couple singles and, like, that's their, they just keep putting singles out. Like, I think, I can't speak for everybody else, but to be an artist, to me, it means, it means, it means, like, really making a body of work, not just... Wild Child. It's a body of work, you know? So that's what I spend my whole time doing is plotting and figuring out how I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. Now, you've already had some amazing moments in your career. I mean, yeah. you've been on the Ellen DeGeneres show. You've opened for Tim McGraw. Thinking back, if you could relive one moment, what would it be? I could relive one moment. Obviously, I would love to relive that Tim McGraw show, but I hopefully will have more of those in my future. If I could relive one moment, it would be when I walked on stage at the Ellen show, because I'm not going to do it, but Ellen is notorious for dancing, right? Notorious. And the guy I was on there with, we did a duet, and he's, a, he's like a pop dancer. Like, that's what he does. And I, I play guitar and sing to girls. I don't dance. And I get on stage, and Ellen's, like, dancing, so I start doing this thing. Like, you know when somebody does that thing, they are not a dancer. So if I could relive that and take it off of national TV, I would. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Um, as a country newcomer, what's it been like for you having the music industry and country music fans embrace you and embrace your music? Wow. Um, it's, I, I literally don't even, it's sometimes hard to stop and think about that question, but to have like, to have people at my show and have fans that even show up is cool in itself, but like, the coolest thing about what I do and play, playing music, which is already such an emotional thing, is like songs that are real like love songs or sad songs, like stuff that's really deep and emotional. When I play those songs and I see how it affects different people because everybody's got their own problems and struggles, like that's what that's what it's all that's what I got into it in the first place for was because music did that to me. And music helped get me out of a dark place. So it's like if I can do that for other people, that's the coolest thing ever. Like to have people support and especially like country radio, they they believe in me and see what I'm doing. That's a that's a dream come true. If there was one thing that you could convey to fans about you and your music, what would it be? That it's all from my heart and all genuine and I, it's all just an extension of me, basically. Yeah. Now, 2014, it's underway. It's a brand new year. What are you looking forward to most this year? What are some of your goals? Wow. Um, definitely the touring is something I'm looking really forward to. I've waited my whole life to tour. Like, I've waited since I was a little kid. I'm still a little kid, but I've waited my whole life to tour, you know? It's like, to do that and to just, like, to sit on a tour bus is cool and to, all that's really cool. But um, I think I'm looking forward to pushing myself and even even more than I did last year because last year I, I pushed myself to the point where I was, like, dead. But I want to do that even more so this year because life is about 
pushing yourself and getting the most out of it you can get. And that's just, I love the competition. I love the, I love, I love what I do. I'm just excited to get to do it again for another year. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Now country music is consistently evolving. It's growing. What do you love most about this genre? I love the stories of the songs because there's a saying, I mean, that's, I don't know who said this saying, but I saw a picture with Willie Nelson the other day that said, country music is three chords and the truth. And I've heard that for my whole life, but Wild Child is three chords and the truth. There's not four chords in that song. There's three chords in that song. And it's like, I don't even remember your question, but what was your question? <laughs> what do you love most about okay. the genre? The stories. The stories are my favorite part because, like, I get to, I grew up playing blues guitar, which, like, blues, when I play the guitar and, like, I'm making those faces, I'm really telling a story mm -hmm. in my own head, but my eyes are shut, so it's blocked off to the rest of the world. And so, like, when I write songs mm -hmm. that have, like, my guitar playing in it, that's my favorite thing because, like, that's why Keith Urban plays guitar. That's because it's also part of the song and it's, like, storytelling, but it's, like, I don't know. The story is my favorite thing about country music. There's no other genre. Like, rap has all kinds of different stories and every line is a new story. Like, I just bought clothes at the mall, now I just bought a Ferrari. Like, those two separate things, you know? Exactly. Wild Child, is that's the name of the song. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it flows. It flows, yeah. So that's my favorite thing about it. Like, I love, I love rock, I love all kinds of music, but I love the stories of country. Yeah. And we're here at CRS Week, it's all about country radio. What one song comes on the radio and you just have to crank it up? <sighs> country radio? Okay, country radio. Uh, right now, it's I'm gonna butcher the words, but. Or uh, dollars make gas and long neck bottles. Beer gets a man for a country girl swing. I love that song. Or this song Wild Child is really good. I heard that song on the radio. I love that song. You guys should check that out. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time to yeah. chat with us, and I wish you the best of luck with everything that you have ahead. Thank you so much.